Thousands of Rocky Mountain Power customers in Sandy were without power today. When crews showed up on scene to figure out the problem, they discovered the substation had been broken into. Fox 13 News reporter Emily Tenser is live near 9400 South Monroe Street tonight. Emily, tell us what happened. Rocky Mountain says power was interrupted around 6 this morning, but it was restored by 730. That outage affected over 3,500 customers, but the neighbors I spoke to who live nearby say they slept through the whole thing. Lights out, quiet neighborhoods, just darkness. That was the reality for thousands of Sandy residents Thursday morning. It's a way to get quick cash. The cause of the power outage? Thieves stealing copper wire. We have kind of that urgency to any time there's a power outage to identify it, dispatch the crews, the resources, and get that restored as quickly as possible. Jonah Whitesides with Rocky Mountain Power says the crime occurred here at their substation in Sandy. This type of damage is expensive to repair. Crews had to cut the power so they could switch circuits. We proactively did that so that we could get them over, make sure that they were on a um, stable path of power and then to be able to assess and fix. According to Sandy Police, most of the city's copper wire crimes occur on construction sites. Officers say they saw an uptick about four years ago, but that's died down. The real reason why they go and steal these things is to resell it. So these metals are can be resold, whether it's at a recycling place, um, and maybe even in ways that may not be legal. Whiteside says Rocky Mountain is rarely the target, but now inspectors are discovering damage at other locations. He says the price of wire isn't worth the risk of arrest or electrocution. Also, you're dealing with electricity too, and so that poses a danger to just anybody who's around there who's not trained to be around that high voltage. Wire theft was also a big issue for the Utah Department of Transportation about eight years ago. Thieves would steal the copper wire along I-15 near North Salt Lake. Spokesperson tells me it took quite a long time for the highway lights to turn back on so crews could make those repairs. Reporting live in Sandy, Emily Tensor, Fox 13 News, Utah.